The Misfits 09 card is looking great. I'm seeing a lot of people who actually agree and think this card is going to be great and it's good for a filler card or a build-up card, a good card to build up storyline. Mams Taylor was expecting a lot of backlash for this card, which I'm actually surprised why he was expecting backlash because looking at the card, it's actually a really good card. It's better than a lot of the non-pay-per-view cards, in my opinion. I think he's just so used to getting backlash for this non-pay-per-view. Whenever they put out a non-pay-per-view, he expects the backlash. But when it's a good non-pay-per-view like this, like we understand the concept of a non-pay-per-view. So when it's a good non-pay-per-view, of you like this one you're not gonna really receive backlash obviously there'll be a few people here and there that are not going to be feeling it but for everyone who understands what a non-pay-per-view is we're all going to be understandable and like the card especially because the headline event with idris virgo versus aaron chalmers like they are fighting to be in the pro tournament where they could win a million dollars like the stakes are high i'm actually excited for this pro tournament like the fact that they could win a million dollars the way these guys are going to be fighting for their lives so overall like i really like the card and i am looking forward to it i think it's a great card before the misfits prime card all the matchups on there i think are quite good apart from ginty versus temper i don't know how i feel about that matchup because I feel like Tempot is better than Ginty. I get it that Ginty has knocked down every single opponent that he's had. But Tempot has literally just come from fighting KSI. That's that's the bit that's a bit mm, to me. Because it's like he literally was a headliner against KSI. And yes, he lost. But he still fought KSI in his last fight. And now he's fighting Ginty. It's like, I would think after you fought KSI, you then are a bit more, you're a bit more up than that. You know, like I didn't even expect him to be on a non-pay-per-view. Has Temper even been on a non-pay-per-view? I'm not saying he's a big name or whatever, but it's just the fact that he's fought KSI. And now he's on a non-pay-per-view and he's not even headlining and he's fighting Ginty. It's a bit like, mm, I don't know if I'm feeling that. But I am looking forward to the fight and I get it that like this is a tune-up fight for Tempar. So I do understand it from that point. And also like what makes a good non-pay-per-view is the fact that there's a lot of familiar faces. Like you're looking through the card and you can see faces that you know. Like I'm not really a fan of non-pay-per-views where there's barely anyone that we know on this card. Like we know Ginty, we've seen him fight, we know Faze Tempar, we've seen Idris Virgo fight. We've seen Halal Ham fight. We've seen Lil Belzy fight. We've seen a lot of these people on Misfits before. And it's just a good building storylines for these individuals because they're known to Misfits. Overall, I think all the other matchups are really good. Even the female fights, I'm looking forward to those. Put in the comments what you guys think of this card for Misfits 09. And I'll see you in the next video.